Welcome to this time of midweek prayer during Lent 2021. If you would like to find yourself in a comfortable position, if you'd like to follow along with the liturgy, you can click the attached link in the video description uh, to follow along if you'd like, or you can simply listen along and pray as the Lord leads you. But would you join me as scripture and silence and words lead us into prayer this week? Satisfy us at daybreak with your love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Gracious Father, your blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came from heaven to be true bread which gives life to the world. Evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Wash us in the fountain of your mercy. Come with your light. We cannot hide from you. Almighty God, to you our hearts are open with gratitude. Song to you. Come and fill the praises of your people. In grace and truth, you make us new again. We long for more than what this world provides No shallow spring will ever satisfy us Your river deep floods over everything
Psalm 32. Happy are those whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Happy are those to whom the Lord imputes no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. While I kept silence, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up by the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all who are faithful offer prayer to you at a time of distress. The rush of mighty waters shall not reach them. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble and you surround me with glad cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, whose temper must be curbed with bit and bridle, else it will not stay near you. Many are the torments of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous. Shout for joy, all you upright in heart. We're going to read from Luke 15, the first seven verses. And I'm going to read this several times. We'll do this in the style of Alectio Divina where I will read this several times. There will be some space in between and perhaps a question to prompt your reflection so that you can read this passage, not simply with your mind, but with your heart, reflecting on what God is inviting you to through his word today. Luke 15, verse 1. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. And then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. And then he calls his friends and his neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. As we hear this parable again, listen for a word or a phrase that stands out to you. Ruminate on that. Think about that. Pay attention to that word or to that phrase. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. And he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent.
as we hear this passage read one more time. Ask yourself and pray, what is God saying to you? What is the invitation to you today from this passage? Lord, speak. Your servants are listening. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. And then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear? curse for my soul, for my soul, to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. To God and to the Lamb I will sing, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb I will sing. To God and to the Lamb who is the great I am. One million join the theme I will sing.
loving Father of all your prodigal children, receive our thanks and praise for the sake of your true Son, Jesus Christ, who has reconciled us to yourself and made us your new creation. We give thanks that Christ has brought us out of the wilderness of our disobedience and the far country of our wasted living. We praise you for the assurance of your welcome into the promised land of your mercy and the household of your care through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you that we may eat of the food of that land and share in the feast you have prepared for us in Christ. Amen. Lord, hear us now as we pray for your church and for the world, for all who are upon our hearts this day, and for ourselves, that we may be ambassadors for Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, keep hold of what is good and avoid all forms of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, make you holy through and through, and keep you sound in spirit, soul, and body, free of any fault when our Lord Jesus Christ comes. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you. Amen. <laughs>